Hi, Chris Betcher here. I just wanted to show you the new commenting feature available in uh, in Google Drive that's just been released. Uh, it answers a whole lot of the uh, problems that people have had with the tracking changes in uh, Google Docs not being quite as powerful as the stuff we've had in Word for quite a while. Uh, I think this brings us much closer to parity. Uh, I think this is easily as good as, as anything we've had in the other system. Uh, let me show you how it works. So I've got a single document here. I have three instances of it open. I have three different accounts. So there's this one, this one, and this one. So uh, let me just show you how those are shared. So you can see uh, now they're all my name, but they're all different accounts. So um, one of me is the owner of this account and therefore an editor. And the other two people I've shared with, who was also my name, um, are just commenters so I have the option to give them editing rights or viewing rights I've just given them commenting rights only which means they can't actually make changes to a document so just accept that uh, sharing situation there so if I go over here to uh, so basically this front one here I'll call this one yellow head this one blue head this one green head uh, yellow head actually has the editing rights and the ownership of the document um, blue head and green head are only um, commenters. Now what this means is there's a new button here and you can see that because I'm only a commenter at this level um, that I only have the ability to either make suggestions to the document or to view it. If I change to viewing by the way it just shows as a, a normal document all I'm doing is reading it. If I change to suggesting I get all my editing tools for suggesting only not actually making changes. So here's how it works. So let's say I'm this uh, blue head user here and I say uh, good is an okay word but I think I'd prefer the word awesome. So I go and type in my change there and you'll see that it's showing me what that change is and I can even put a little um, message in here and explain why I made that change. This is a better word, arguably. So I can put that information in there so I can explain why I made that change. Uh, that's optional. And you'll see over here on the owner's version of the document, what I'm getting here is the indication that that word good was crossed out and the word awesome was suggested. In fact, even the other editor, who also doesn't have editing rights on the document, only suggesting rights, um, also sees that change. So they know that if, if they were thinking the same thing, they don't need to make that change because somebody's already done it. Um, here's a typo here. What if this person goes in and changes that to a different thing? And you can see it changes there, changes here, and changes back in the owner's document. Importantly, I'm seeing those changes in different colors, so I can actually see who's done what. One of the really frustrating things about the previous version of Docs was that if you wanted to go and make changes on a user's document, sure, you could put little comments in the sidebar, but if you wanted to actually change some text, you had to physically highlight the text, change color. It was a little bit annoying. Now it happens all automatically for you. Now, of course, these changes that um, have been made here by Bluehead and Greenhead are not actually live changes. If I come back to the main document here, you'll see that uh, they haven't actually been accepted. What if we make one more change here? What if we go down here and into this document and say, uh, oh, I like this. All right, which is a little bit redundant. Should be more of a, a, a chat comment rather than a document comment. So let's go back to our main comment here and just see what we can do to deal with this. I'll just widen this out a little bit so we can see. So this first comment here, um, this approval system is awesome. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that word. So I can just click into there and I have the ability with this checkbox or this um, cross to accept or reject that change. I'll accept it, tick yes and the little note goes away, the change gets accepted, it reflects over in the other documents as well, and everyone can see that that change has been made. What about this one, this spelling mistake? Yep, that's a good suggestion, I'll accept that one. Um, this one down the bottom here, I like this. I don't think we need that in this document, so I'm gonna click on the X to say I reject that change, and you can see it disappears from the other documents as well. And so I have my three documents all in sync, all looking perfect, all Changes suggested by other people, but not approved until the owner of the document actually says it's okay. And that is a massive improvement. So thank you, Google. Well done. Well played.